Hey guys, in this video we are going to create a photo slideshow animation in Adobe After Effects which is based on ink drop effect. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. I am calling it as main and keeping the width at 1920 and height at 1080 and 30 frames per second and 5 seconds long and hit ok. Let's create another composition and I am going to name it as media and hit on ok. Now let's import the assets which are required to make the project. I will give a link to download these assets. I am using this image for this project so I am importing it to the media composition. Then adjust the scale of it. If you have any problem with the image hit S on the keyboard and bring up the scale for your need. Let's create a new solid layer and I am keeping it white color. Now let's import the media composition to the timeline. Now we are going to add the scale and a rotation to the image so hit s on the keyboard and hold shift and hit r on the keyboard to get scale property and the rotation property go to the end of the animation and hit on the stopwatch icon near the scale and rotation property and go to the very first frame of the animation and keep the scale value to 120 and rotation value to minus 8 degrees Now we have a simple animation to our image. Let's create another new composition and I am going to call it as matte and hit on ok. So in this composition you should import any ink drop video clip so I have given a link to download this ink drop video clip. Now we have to adjust the speed of this video clip so just right click on it and select time and time stretch and we should keep the stretch factor around 15 to make the video clip shorter. Now it is perfect and go to the main composition and let drag and drop the matte composition to our main composition. Now we have to apply an effect to this video clip so go to the effects and preset and search for the effect tint. Now let's apply the tint effect onto the video clip and make it black and white. Now we have to make the white area black and the black area white so we have to invert these colors so go to the effects and presets and search for the effect called invert and then apply it to the layer. And let's add one more effect and search for brightness and contrast. Now let's drag and drop the brightness and contrast effect to the video clip and let's make the brightness value to minus 30 and contrast value to 100. Now let's search for one more effect called curves and then apply it to the layer. And now make the curve something like to this.
and change the track mat to Lumina inverted mat. And now we will get the effect like this which is looking awesome. Now we need to make a light leak to this so create a new solid and I am calling it as light leaks and hit ok. Now we have to add a fractal noise effect to this solid layer so go to effects and preset and search for the effect called fractal noise. Now apply the fractal noise effect to the layer. Make the fractal type to basic, noise type to linear. Open this transform and increase the scale of it. I am keeping the scale at 1000. Now we have to down the complexity. I am keeping it 1. Now let's down the brightness value and I am keeping the value at negative 30. I am keeping the contrast value 150. Do the steps what I am doing. A time expression box will appear in the timeline. So in that box you should type time multiplied by 200. Now we will get this kind of animation. So we need to colorize this. So go to effects and preset and search for the effect called hue and saturation. Apply hue and saturation effect to this layer and go to effects and control and tick on the colorize option and increase the colorize saturation to 100 and we have to select any color I am selecting this dark blue color. and change the blending mode of that layer to screen and now we will get the effect like this which is looking awesome if you need to add a text you can add a text do the steps what I am doing So we have made the photo slideshow effect in Adobe After Effects so see you in the next video.